the idea of the cocoon, uh, uh, I think, is that the, those children, those babies, uh, are more like, at this point, um, uh, worms that are in cocoons, that uh, they are dead, but then from the, the huge numbers we see, they are, they are new or reborn and again die again and then keep dying again and again till at the end we feel that we hope that they die one final death to go to the final rest. My siblings died hungry. We had no food nor milk and I'm afraid they will kill me too. These are words spoken by a Gazan child. The organizers of Cocoon Between Earth and Heaven art exhibition at a spas pub on Avenue Park in Montreal, wanted to share them with Canadians. They are hoping that the language of art could contribute to ending Israel Hamas war. What he's trying to say, in my understanding, is that the children of Gaza do not distinguish anymore between paper rockets that they play with and the rockets that fall on them from the sky. Everything got confused and that the world cannot be silent while this is happening. The Montreal-based artist of the Cocoon's exhibit, known as the Babylonian, aims to draw attention to what the children of Gaza are living through. Cuts from the children are also distributed on cards by the organizers for those who attend to read. The exhibit also features musical and poetic performances. People may see it from different perspectives. One of them is art. And this exhibition is really amazing because even if we follow the news, we see it on TV, but to, uh, and you connect with it, of course, but to see it like an artistic form, that's another angle, another perspective. And I think people should come and see it and uh, feel more of the connection to Gazans. The exhibit was sponsored by Tisri Donya Theater and the Silk Road Institute in collaboration with independent Jewish voices in Montreal. We are sponsoring this event as an opportunity for the people of Montreal to be able to witness um, the tragedy of the lives lost in Gaza and of the children affected through this medium of art and as an opportunity to really prompt people towards action and pressuring our government not only to call for a ceasefire but also to stop funding the war effort and to stop sending arms um, to Israel. The exhibit runs until January 14th. In Montreal, Amenu Mohanna, Omni News. Ahead on City News.